Hello everybody, Chris Rice Killer T here, here at the um, Spearhead Games booth. We're here with Malik. How are you doing today? Great, how about you? And we just check out this sweet action game called Omen Sight. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure, so Omen Sight is a spiritual successor of Apurus Game Stories. Uh, it's an action adventure game uh, that blends stories seamlessly with the gameplay uh, through something that we call a narrative puzzle. As the Harbinger, you have to fight your way and try to save the world while trying to solve a mystery and figure out what happened in that world, what's causing this issue. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so you get to make decisions that can affect how uh, the outcome of things, fight people or make them your friends, uh, uh, a lot of things basically, uh, you can really shape the day in different ways. Now we, we play a little bit in the game, I gotta say the combat is like very much like a um, magical take on the Batman Outcome series formula, at least in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a bit of influence in that, in the sense that uh, it's a combat that's uh, very much about maintaining a certain flow. Now there are differences also uh, besides that because you have a dodge mechanic to avoid uh, damage and then the superpowers also make it a very... Uh, that's where the difference really shines because with these abilities uh, we add a tactical element to that flow. You can interact with the environment, you can slow down time, uh, grab and pull objects and enemies and combine that into something very creative. So the flow is more than just hitting enemies and avoiding damage, but also controlling the whole situation. And of course, how many different companions on your team can also affect some of the different combos you can do in the battle as well? Yeah, exactly. So uh, depending which companion you choose to uh, bring with you, uh, each has unique abilities. So that opens new opportunities or different ones at least. Like some are really good in combat and can do shockwaves and things like that. Other gives you buff like haste. So it really depends. And how many companions can we expect to um, experience in Omen Sight? Companions? Uh, a few. I can't tell you yet exactly how many. That's going to be for later. But yeah, there's uh, several. We just show you one today. <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, an interesting thing is at the boss battle, we could have fought him, but yeah. then we use our special ability called Omen Sight to yeah. give him some, to get some foresight into the situation. Can you explain a little bit more about that mechanic? Yeah, so Omen Sight is the titular power of the game. It's a unique ability of the Harbinger that's basically giving a vision uh, to someone about something that you know is true. So as you gather clues and information, you can share it with people. And because it's magic, it's, they know it's true. They cannot deny it. And that allows you to, for example, uh, uh, try to see what happens if someone knows this information. How will they react? Which is, you know, a typical detective thing. You show a photo to a suspect. I know you did that. And then you see, how will they react? Will they, like, defend themselves or give you a new information? Or you can use it to make an enemy an ally because say, hey, I know you didn't do it. Here's a proof that this guy is bad. And like, okay. And that way you can change the future. Now, obviously, you can also fight. That was the choice there. How do you handle a situation where you have two guys who hate each other and then you have a Nomen Sight in one hand and a sword in the other? Do you fight that guy or do you try something different and use the Omen Sight? And that's how you really shape the, the future because from that point on, that same character, you can turn up to be a boss fight and then you try to kill each other or suddenly becomes an ally and the one who used to be your ally suddenly becomes your enemy. So there is really strong choices and strong consequences in this game. Everything matters, like is really uh, different and unique. There's no fallback or any cheat in the way your decisions impact the outcome of any given day in the game. That's pretty cool. Um, so obviously we play this on the PC. Is there any other platform you like to bring the game to as well? Yeah, for sure. We can't tell you yet because we're still working on that and trying to figure things out. But we'd love to bring the game to console as well. Cool, cool. And uh, when will Almond Side be released? Uh, for sure in 2018. When exactly? That's also something we're still working on. But yeah, definitely 2018. Okay, so definitely keep your eyes out on this game because I had a good time with this one and thank you very much once again. Thank you, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure here too and keep it here for more PAX Health coverage.